What is up, fellow YouTubers? So hopefully in my next video we'll do a um, tutorial on how to make some old school coffee out of a percolator. It's really easy. That will be accompanied with a vocal cover that was requested by Dana Smith. But in this video, um, on my last video, rant video, someone said, Guitar sweeping tutorial win. Ah. So apparently people want a tutorial on how to do the old sweet picking. Yeah. Well, that I can do. I'll switch the uh, pentagram ring over to my other hand. People on YouTube are like, when are you going to do a tutorial on how to, how to sweep? Well. I got this tuning on my guitar right now. It's For the sake of this video, we'll go from this tuning. To a more standard. Okay, we're definitely in standard.
Okay, a sweep will involve a number of strings, more than two, at the very least three. That's your basic sweep picking with switch bag. You want to take the point of your pick, not the side, the point, you know. Now if I push down the strings and just... You want to take the point of your pick and kind of drag it across your string, rather than just plucking the string, you want to drag the point of your pick going down and up. So we'll start off with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Take your third finger, put it on is that the 14th fret? Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, yeah, 14. And then your middle finger is going to go on the 13th fret on the second string below that. And then your pointer finger is then going to go on the 12th fret. And then, and then your pinky is going to come and... 13, 14, 16, 16th fret on the high E. So you get. <coughs> just like that. But the key to a good sweep is you want your your picking hand and your fretting hand, the hand you fret with, you want them you want them to be in bloody sync with each other. Because if you try to go really fast with your pick, but then your fretting hands off, it's gonna sound like shit. And speed versus control. Um, well, it's cool to be able to play lightning fast on the electric guitar YouTube, but you want to favor controllability over speed. And also, it depends on the type of pick you have. Not just in your technique and how you keep your picking hand and your fretting hand in sync. You also want a, a good pick for sweeping. You don't want something too thick or too thin. This is a nice even thickness, and I've taken a um, nail file, and this is something I like to do to my picks. See how they have like a little bit of bend, but not too much bend? Yeah. If the pick bends too much, it's just gonna, it's no control. Okay, you're not going to have any control that if the pick is too bendy, it's just going to slide up and down and bend too easily. But if it has no bend, then you're going to be sitting there pushing with your wrist on the pick. And this here has a little bit of bend, but not too much bend on the pick. So this offers you some control. It'll, it'll slide down the strings, but it also, you won't have to do much to force it. Now you could take some sandpaper or a nail file and what I like to do for my picks like this is I like to 
put a nice a nice point into my pick. Believe me, it's not just in the technique of how you sweep. I mean, your sweeping technique is a part of it, yes, but you also want a decent guitar pick behind it. Otherwise, you know, because there's some guitar, you know, what's the difference? Oh, yeah, they, they make different thicknesses of guitar pick, man. And if your guitar pick has no bend, you're going to be sitting there forcing it with your wrist where you want this effort, you know. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, now this pick has a little bit of bend to it, but not too much bend. It's, it's, it's in between being a little bit stiff and a little bit bendy. If I can push down on it like that and it bends just a little bit, there you go. This is what I prefer, although some guitarists will say, Oh, you want a pick that bends real easy because you'll be able to sweep faster. No, 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 no. No, 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 you should not rely on the pick itself to sweep faster. Because that's only going to pick the strings. You need to rely on your wrist. <laughs> now you see when I individually pluck the strings. It... You hear the difference between picking them separately? Versus There's a big difference between picking them individually fuck was that? That was horrible. No, but seriously. And once you've mastered the technique, just... You can take that same shape and move it down here. Or move it up the neck to, a, to another set of three strings. Or move it up here. And once you got down three strings, then you can add four strings. Maybe four strings isn't enough, how about five? Ugh. And see what happens when I did that on purpose so you can see what it sounds like. This is what happens when your picking hand and your fretting hand aren't in sync. It's going to sound off. But you want the um, you want a, a nice firm, you know. You don't want your wrist to be super loose around your fingers. You want a nice, you know, not like death grip it, but like you want to take your thumb on top and your finger on the bottom, so that way when you sweep pick, you're basically you're pivoting off, you know. If you're using a little bit of your wrist and your pointer finger and thumb muscles to pivot the pick and kind of push it down and up. So it also call it, it's also called rakes, rakes, sweeping, whatever you want to call it. You want the point of your pick to just sweep across the strings real easy. <laughs> And 
once you, and this is the cool thing about guitar YouTube, is once you've mastered one basic, one very basic sweep, like say like way up here, you can take that same shape and move it in different sections all over the guitar. Now, like I said, if you... Once you master a basic sweep, you can pretty much apply it anywhere on the neck. Although, like, down here, you're going to have more of a stretch on the lower notes, but up here on the higher notes, it will, you know. That was horrible, but no, you get the idea. If sweeping is too hard, which it takes a while to master sweep picking, you're not gonna, you know, as with anything on guitar, if you want to get better at it, practice makes perfect. There we go, that's more standard. But, um, yeah, before you get into, like, the four, five, six, seven, whatever fret, sweet picking, yeah, start off with, like, three, just... And if you don't have a metronome, just kind of one, two, one, two, one. So you can tap your foot along to it. Of course, when people think about the electric guitar, the first thing they think is... They think of the... Then you have alternate picking, which is... The difference is, between alternate picking, you hear the strings individually, like, not just a continuous sweep, like... Instead of it being a continuous sweep, it's more of a... You may end up going up and down with the uh, point of the pick on the string. Like...
Because that was just showing off. Oh, what was that? Oh, this? That's double hand tapping, baby. Hammer on slide. Now, if you're doing the hammer on, it's like Eddie Van Halen style type guitar playing, real easy. You take either your pointer. And um, either your, your pointer or your middle finger and on your right hand. And you can take either your pinky or your third finger or your second finger with your first finger. And you want a nice little string gap between the two. And it's real easy. Take the first finger, hammer on. And then after that first note, you want to flick your finger like you're flicking a burger just flick, flick you know what I'm saying flick flick hammer on flick flick now if you do this over and over and over eventually you'll start to kind of And of course, if you don't have a whammy bar like I do on this one, you can string bend. And then of course, how do you do that? That's a metal sound. It's called palm muting. You take the palm of your hand and you want to place it right there, kind of like you got your pickups right here. You take them and kind of put it right here so it's like. I notice if I would take an E minor chord, if I take an E minor and strum it. It rings out. But taking my palm and placing it over all six of my strings just like that and strumming it. You know, it kind of has a shorter ring to it. like. But much like anything in life, YouTube, if you want to get better at it, you got to practice, 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 and don't let... Don't let people say, well, you suck at guitar. Yeah. Well, no one's going to be good at it when they first learn. I mean, I, I wouldn't consider myself a beginner. I'm more or less intermediate. So I'm not quite advanced. There are some things I need to work on when I'm playing, like using my pinky more and also learning songs. But other than that, I mean... <laughs> This is a bit more complicating, but if you look... Show off. 
No, but on the serious note, though, if you want to learn how to sweet pick, there you go. Um. And you think, oh, what if I don't have an electric guitar? How much? Oh. What, you think you can't sweet pick on an acoustic? Pff, you too. Come on. You think you can't sweet pick on an acoustic? Oh, certainly you can. Oh, look at that. Although with the acoustic, you're going to have to rely on doing it right. I mean, with the electric guitar, you can use distortion to hide some of your mistakes. But with the acoustic guitar, you really have to work at it. So if you play an electric, I would encourage you to also play acoustic. Because learning to play the acoustic will actually make you better at electric. Go figure. <laughs> I forgot to tune this bitch too, do you got It's good to tune your guitars before playing. Pretty straightforward. But the answer is yes, you can definitely sweep on an acoustic. You don't have to have an electric guitar and an amplifier to shred on the on the guitar. You can still Yeah. Of course with your acoustic you're that's your you know, your more country music type. <laughs> It's a fun little riff to play on the guitar, especially if it's acoustic. Take your pointer finger and your middle finger and your third finger. Okay. This would be, uh, I think, yeah, this would be a D chord. And then you take up and go up to the A chord. Which is the next three, all three, one underneath each other. One, two, three. And 
And then, of course, your E major chord. Riba! Salsa. Oh, look at that. You can shred the acoustic. It just takes, you know. Huh. Of course, when you shred the acoustic, it sounds a lot different, doesn't it, you two? <sighs> Trying to shred the guitar behind your head, what is that? A poor attempt at showing off. That's what that was. Yes. What the hell is that supposed to be? Oh, the opening, the opening, turn the page by Metallica remake. Serious YouTube, you want to get better at guitar, the only way you're going to get better is practice, practice, practice till you get it.
favorite sloppy Michael Myers theme song with that. <laughs> If we're doing blues, hold on a second. I'm switching over to uh, There we go. Blues guitar, man, that's always cool, but, uh, and you gotta respect your musical roots, man. We wouldn't have rock and roll and heavy metal if we didn't have blues, so, people basically like, oh, let's mix blues and country and see what we get. Oh, look, that's how rock and roll was born, baby. Get it! Get it. Get it good. There you go, YouTube. That's how you. That's how you uh, do a couple of those basic guitar tricks. I mean, not too difficult, I guess. Once you break it down, step by step, string by string, note by note. And um, if you want to be like super lightning fast at guitar like that, you know, you're gonna have to spend a good number of years practicing before you'll be good enough. You know. I mean, if I could have played that fast overnight, that would have been awesome. But unfortunately, that doesn't that doesn't uh, quite match up with how life works. I mean, uh, but you want to know my theory on this YouTube as to why life isn't just handed to you? For the most part, the reason why life is just not simply handed to you is so we can learn self-gratification. 
which is a good feeling to learn and have, especially when you achieve something. Now, this is no different than learning how to ride a bike. Um, you know, you're going to fall off your bike God knows how many times, cut the shit out of your elbows and your knees, and you're going to cry, you're going to want to give up, you're going to kick your bike and stub your toe, you're going to... All this shit, right? But then you don't quit. You don't give up. And eventually you learn how to ride a bike. And that self-gratification of learning how to ride the bike and gain your independence and ride all over town, you know, it's a wonderful feeling. I mean, that's that's basically everything in a nutshell. Once you learn it, it's, it's just, you know, second nature. Yeah. Now, how the bloody hell did I manage to make this 41 minutes long? Uh, be sitting here like, oh, well, let's do a guitar lesson for YouTube. If we're doing sweep picking, why does we all show them how to do a bunch of other shit, too? And, yeah. Mm. and uh, you know... There's been a couple of times I've wanted to quit playing guitar YouTube, but I didn't. And now I'm at a spot on my guitar playing where I'm like, yeah, I know I, a couple of chunks of songs here and there. I can show off for a crowd of people and play lightning fast. And it's somewhat accurate. I mean, there's a couple, occasionally I'll mess up and hit a wrong note and it'll sound like, sound like poopy. But, uh, for the most part, I guess I do all right on the guitar. I'm not going to say I'm the world's greatest at it, because that would be a uh, mild understatement. Because uh, I'm not. Like, no, I, I don't claim to be the, the greatest guitarist out there, YouTube. You know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> no. No. And if you're a true guitarist, you won't cut other guitar players down to make yourself... If you're a true guitarist, don't cut somebody else down for their guitar playing just to make yourself feel, feel better about your shitty playing. You know what I'm saying? I hate that shit. You get these snobby assholes on YouTube who are like, Oh yeah, I'm better than you at guitar. <laughs> That's like, good for you, wipe snipe. You want a cookie? Yeah, dude, you got any? No? Well, screw you then. No, I, I hate that. Like, then that's just with anything that requires learning and practice. People who are better than you think they have this, you know. Why is it, though, that when you see other guitarists do that shit, they, they, they pick on guitarists who are below them in their, you know, in their playing skills? Because they think, oh, that's a threat. That's a threat of someone getting better than me. And they can't take the idea of someone being better than them. So naturally, you know. You now, when it comes down to guitar playing, YouTube, it's not about who's better than who, who's got the nicest guitar, who can shred faster than who. It's about practice, dedication, and enjoying your instruments and playing it. Enjoying the playing process, you know, it's just about enjoying it and making music, man. It's not about being discovered. It's not about, you know, who's a better guitar player than who. Fuck all that, dude. Guitar playing is about enjoying music and learning it and, you know. And the better you practice, the more you practice, the better you'll get, you know. But be fair warned, your fingers are going to sting a little bit when you learn... How to play guitar at first couple of times playing it, you're going to get these little callusks on your fingertips. You know, that's perfectly natural. You can tell I'm a guitar player from years of playing because you notice that the fingertips on my left hand are, or, uh, are a lot rounder than the ones on my right. I mean, the ones on my right are kind of standard, you know, finger shape, but then the ones on my left hand or a bit rounder. Yeah. Oh, there it is. People are like, when are you going to see a sweet picking tutorial? Why not just cover all the basics while we're at it? Sweet picking, double hand tapping, alternative picking, um, 
palm muting, double hand tapping, sweet, yeah. And um, there are plenty of people to learn guitar from on YouTube, so I appreciate you watching this long ass video of me just screwing around on the guitar like, hey, look at this guy, Mr. Freaking Show Off over here. Dedication and practice, that's all it takes, man. And if you get to a point where you're playing your, your guitar, you've been practicing for a good couple hours, and it hurts to push your fingers down on your strings, then give it a break. You know, there's no, I mean, you, you can play till your fingers bleed, but that's a bit extreme. You know, for as good as I am at guitar, even if I get to a point when I'm playing guitar for a couple hours a day, and then it hurts to, like, push down on the strings, that's when I'm like, eh, okay, yeah, now let's give this a break for a couple hours, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to overdo it. I mean, you could play until your fingers bleed, but that's just, I don't know. You get blood all over your guitar, and then it's like, ew. So I tend to play until my fingertips can't push down on the strings, and it's like, ow, ow, you know what I'm saying? Because then eventually, your fingertips will get used to it, and you'll build up muscles around your fingertip and strength, and you'll build up, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyways, tubes. Um, I guess if you want uh, more guitar videos, I can definitely do that. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you, cool cobras, later.